So we can get random rare, 100 gold, or choose a rare card. So we basically lose 99 gold to get a rare card, which I think is a okay price for a rare card. It could be the Meteor Strike, we can get the Meteor Strike Dream, or it could be Hyper Beam to get through Act 1. So let's go for the rare card. Hyper Beam, I just told you, right? So Hyper Beam is going to make Act 1 super easy, which means I could probably go for Elites. Go for 1, 2, maybe even 3 Elites. That means we're, Frost is out the window. Maybe Dark... We can still do dark, dark Orbs for bosses and Elites, but other than that, probably not. We got 1, 2, 3, 4 Rest. Over here, we got 1, 2, 3 Rest, but 3 Elites. I think we'd rather get 4 Rest and, and 2 Elites. I like that better. But then right there, we, we had to get a four shop, which sucks, right? So basically, we get a four shop, but we get an extra rest. Over here, we got one elite and four rests. Um, maybe we just go for three elites, because I'd rather avoid the shop. I haven't played the daily yet, Beaky. How you doing, man? Welcome. Hyper mean dream team coming. So that's 25. I mean, it's good damage, but... <laughs> okay, sure. Sure. Lock on, got some new art. That's funny. Uh, I think we go for Leap. Yeah, so Leap is not affected by focus. Just a solid defense. Alright, let's see what we get here. What's up, Mir Maria Monoteta? Gain a relic whenever we take damage. Mona Teta. Does that mean you have one tit? Nah, I don't mean to be offensive, Maria Mona Teta, but does that mean you have one one uh, boob? So dual cast is doing 16 plus 25. It's 41. Ah, not quite. You gotta go. Hey, Cypria, take care, man. You have an exam? Hey, go look at the exam. You're gonna kill it. self repair for sustain, I like that. Nah, it's not cold. It's not cold. It's just me swagging out. Yep, just swag. See, Beaky gets it. The emotes, uh, purple platypus, because we're currently in the, um, in the process of partnership. So I think we can get, like, one um, emote, but until we get partnership, we can't get the, um, the emotes, unfortunately. But I'm definitely, I definitely want to get that done. Loop Ball Lightning. So because we have Hyper Beam, I feel like Lightning is a little bit worse. And Loop could be interesting. So if we, we have Hyper Beam, we probably want to get some folk, uh, some Fusion or Plasma. And that makes Loop a little bit more desirable. But I, this looks like a skip. Although I think, I think Turbo is pretty good as well. Like Turbo can open up a lot of ideas with different things. It gives me good tempo, right? So I can do things like Hyper Beam and Defend at the same time. I'm going to do Turbo. I like Turbo. Turbo's not very good against the Gremlin Knob, though. Hey, thank you, Purple Platypus. Purple Platypus, you have to be that other guy, man. There was a guy with the same exact name as you. How much better do you think Star Repair is compared to Bandage? I think Star Repair is better than Bandage by a lot because... Well, Bandage is free, right? But Self Repair synergizes with more things, right? So Self Repair synergizes with Mummified Hands, first off. It synergizes with Mummified Hands. Stuff repair synergizes with things like Nova and anything else that you may have anything that might want to do with power. So things like Storm or Heat Sinks, you can get card draw. Stuff repair can upgrade till 10, right? Stuff repair is just better. Yeah, it's just better to me. It's also something that you can get from White Noise or from No Rise, where bandage up you can't. So we get Barrage, Fission, or Stack. Uh, Fission makes sense in a focus-oriented deck. So if you have things that consume, then you want to get orb slots. Nah, I think we don't want fission. Barrage eh, is not that great either. So we're just going to go for the stack. And I'm going to upgrade the, the Hyper Beam because everybody seems to be doing most of the work for me. All right, so we're just going to dual cast and do Hyper Beam. I don't know how we're... Basically, we're just going to hit this guy with Hyper Beam multiple times. And that's going to be that's going to be it. That's what we're going to do.
Small deck hyper beam based. Yes. Lift Papa Gamer Hydra, man. So we could do turbo to get like another strike self repair out, which makes the cycle a little bit better for self repair. And in, in the event that we get hyper beam again, we can get lethal and we can get the healing. Although. So I guess it's nice because now we can heal up a little bit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright. It's not too bad. For an elite. Ooh, we got Symbiotic Virus, which unfortunately doesn't really work well with our Hyper Beam, but having Dark Orb like on turn one for me is fantastic. Mercurius, how you doing, man? Zergen the squid for the win. So we got Beam Cell, go for the Ice Cord. I think Beam Cell is really good because adding Vulnerable to Hyper Beam and it's free is fantastic. Cool Head is not bad for the card draw, but again, we're going to get his Frost, which is probably going to be useless after one Hyper Beam, or it's going to be useless rather. And then go for the eyes as a weaken, but since we're doing so much damage, we rather make the damage better as opposed to try to mitigate the damage we're taking. So I think with that in mind, Beam Cell becomes better, so I have a bigger window of opportunity to get the Beam Cell Hyper Beam. Got Mummified Hand, so now we got some, some power synergy, that's crazy. Beam Cell's not very good in this situation, but Hyper Beam is great in this fight, I would say, for the most part. How much Hyper Damage does it do? 32? So that guy's gonna die. Not the S, welcome. He's probably working reloading. Uh, so I think Dual Cast first makes more sense. So we can do Strike. Ah, this makes- this is actually better. Nah, you guys something to say that? Yes, what happened? So self-repair becomes much better now that we have, um... Mummified Hands. And that was a really nice relief. I only got Tori. Wow. Wow. So the con there's- in this seed there's Consume, and there's Fission. So we would have had... This- in this seed there's Consume and Fission, right? So this potentially could have been a focus deck, aside from the fact that you have Hyper Beam. <laughs> We could always take Consume and try to counteract Hyper Beam, but I don't think that makes sense. Yeah, I think we shouldn't skip. Uh oh. Which Hyper Beam when you need it? So this guy right here is going to do one damage. And I'm, I'm hoping that... I'm hoping... The lightning hits that guy. Okay, no such luck. That sucks. A lot of damage for no reason. Pisses me off. So let's beam sell this guy. Dual cast. Very nice. We'll take one damage. I wanna just I wanna get hopefully this hits a defense. It didn't hit a defense, that sucks. Oh well. Beautiful. Weak pot, claw, capacitor, hello world. Uh, claw could be another way to get some scaling alongside the hyper beam. Think lightning hits the, the healthiest? No, no, lightning's random. Lightning's random. Lightning's 100% random. I love access to uh, vote stuff before using beam build. That's kind of nice. Yeah, we have, we have dual cast for that purpose. And claw gives us some scaling alongside the uh, hyper beam. I'll take it. Jesus. So luckily we have self repair, so we're getting a lot of sustain off of this. Am I still? It's a per pod, but I've completed what it takes to become a partner. I've already completed it. The only problem is, I don't want to do this because I want to get self repair up first. I sent the application. I already got the, what it requires, and they haven't gotten back to me. So that either that means that either means they don't want me to be a partner, and I'm very sad, or. Or they just take a while to get back to you, or maybe there's so many inquiries. We got a focus potion. That's interesting. Rebounds makes sense for Hyper Beam. So we're going against the Guardian. I should probably keep that in mind so I have more consistent defense. Because right now my deck's not. 
Looking too great against uh, that guy. I can get a claw in. Alright, so we got beam stuff for the vulnerable. And ideally what we want to do is get... Uh, this, this dark dual casted before the, the hyper beam comes out. Well, this is doing 48 damage. That's fantastic. I'm gonna do weak pot. Well, the weak pot's gonna be really helpful against this boss, though. Yeah, weak pot's gonna be really helpful against the boss. But there's a chance I get another potion afterwards, right? So it's probably worth it to... It's too late now. I have lethal here. If I do uh, zap dual cast, I have lethal. Art of War, Scrape, Skim, Leap. I'm going to take another leap just because we're going against the Guardian and he's going to be doing some a lot of damage. I want to have consistent block. And leap doesn't get affected by focus, right? So, yeah, I'm going to do that. I got to get the leap. I think we're good. We're not going to rest. So, ooh, Hyper Beam would have been great. You know what? So, this is how much damage. Hey, Aisha Knight with a thousand bits. Thank you for the thousand bits here. Appreciate the support. And you got a cool little hexagon, and now you're the top tier of the week. Awesome, dude. 27 plus uh, 6. We're looking at 33. That brings him down to 25. It's perfect. So, Hyper Beam's lethal. The sunk cast files, yeah. Oh, we don't have self repair. Oh, there, there we do. Yeah, we do. Okay, that's perfect. Add a random skill to your hand, it costs zero. That's insane. So I think focus pot is not going to be good in this fight because we're probably going to use hyper beam. And I think poison is going to be useful to help split him on the first thing. I think we can possibly be useful. So we can try the skill pot. That could be. That could be interesting. Skill potion. I like Conserve Battery. I think Conserve Battery has some decent synergy with Mungified Hand as well. Because if you, let's say you play a lot of powers later on. This could be interesting. Now I think we're good on defense. So we're going to go ahead and see what else is going to help us win this fight. Like Dual Cast can help us get the Dark out early. Yeah, I like Dual Cast because that can help me play the Dark Orbs that I already start off with. And we got Hyper Beam right away. Uh, I guess it's this off repair just to get it out of the cycle and do hyper beam. That's not bad because we got all our strikes, so we're probably gonna get more defense next turn. Ish. I think we want to beam cell. Nah, it's not worth it. So we get more energy with Art of War next turn, and beam cell it's not gonna help us at all. Leap. Okay. I like dual cast because we can get the darts to the front. Okay, cool. Hey, it was a lot of competitions. Purple Platus, I don't know how he did it. So we have Tori, so this is only 5 damage. No, it's only 4 damage. So I can go ahead and do... Um, strike, strike, strike. I mean, we might as well block it. So we can block some of it. Let's do this. Actually, I should have blocked. I should have saved my energy. I had an opportunity to save energy there. That's not bad. I kind of like rebounds on the beam cell. So I can get more vulnerable next turn. So hyper beam is doing some work here. Ooh, that's not good. So dual cast helps proc him, thankfully. Okay. Beautiful. Mm, well that basically means we're getting hyper beam on a turn where we would rather defend like this. Okay, that's fine though. We have more than enough life. Welcome to the stream. I see. Yeah, I've been watching you for like four weeks. That I, I should come from more support. Hey, appreciate it a lot, man. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Yes, any... 
Do I have a Discord? I do have a Discord. I do have a Discord. One second. I'll help you out right now. Oh, perfect. For Snickety, you already got it. So this is only four damage. Three damage. Tori is doing some work here, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. So we can use poison pot to win. To so, so, so we can use poison pot. Yeah, let's let's do that. Just because I like having weak pot. Got attack potion. Add a random attack card. Interesting. All right, so we got all for one multicast rainbow. Multicast is not as good with the fact that we have hyper beam, right? So we do have to start off with the dark orb. There's two ways we can go with this, right? We have a dark orb. So then multicast for the Dark Orb could be some good damage in hallway fights. So like if we can manage to get this to the front and need multicasts, we're probably killing things really quickly. And not to mention, this is going to scale up a little bit for the Hyper Beam, so it's not as if it's going to be useless to have multicast on that. It's still going to have damage. All for one is bringing back things like um, Claw, Beam Cell, and then Dual Cast Zap if we upgrade the Zap. But just right now it's Dual Cast Claw Beam Cell. So that can give me some more scaling with the Claw, do things some rebound shenanigans. And then we got Rainbow, which is something that's probably the worst, just because it has orbs, and because we have this anti-focus card, Rainbow doesn't seem too effective. I had negative six focus. I could have checked, I think it was like what? So, because I had negative six focus, I was, um... I think they had been three times, actually, so... I was actually negative 9 focus. So I think I was not doing damage. Yeah, I wasn't doing damage. What cards do you think you're going to get the nerf hammer? Uh, so they already nerfed Echo Form, and I think Echo Form is in a, a decent spot because it has. I mean, Echo Form basically is low tempo, but the turn you, the turn you play it, you're basically going to sacrifice in that turn. So if you have things like Buffer, it becomes better. And once you play Echo Form, I think it is very strong. And especially, like, yeah, I think it's hard for them to understand. I don't know what they should nerf, honestly. I do think Echo Form in theory is pretty strong, but they already kind of balanced it a, a little bit. I don't know. I don't think they should be nerfing anything just yet. I don't see anything as blatantly OP in my opinion. Yeah, and there's also things like uh, Magnetism and Creative AI. You can strike any things. Like, if your deck... The thing about that is that if your deck's getting crazy, then stack at that point is win more. My approach is lower the cost and make it as a second copy of the first card played to the discard pile, then make it... That's interesting. Alright, so, um... Guys, I, I have to make a decision here. So, all for one... It's just to get the claw, beam cell synergy, and maybe later on. Let's say, so if I get Snickawai, if I get Snickawai in this relic, which is still a possibility, then all for one is is gonna be doing some stuff. It's could potentially be drawing into other cards that are not already zero cost, and also maybe drawn to hyper beam, like it might be zero cost. So this opens up the possibility for Snickawai, and it's still a decent like damage. Like it's still pretty good tempo, right? Because you play it and you're getting if you have this in your discard pile. Getting some decent tempo with the Claw Beam Cell on that turn. So if let's say we get an Energy Relic and we have this in the discard pile, but they don't have Vulnerable anymore. So we have all for one Hyper Beam in our hands. We do all for one Beam Cell, and then we do the Hyper Beam for Lethal. And it has synergies, whereas Multicast kind of makes sense with the, the virus we already have. And if we get Battery, then Multicast is looking a little bit better because this could be an energy gain. I mean, for the most part, it's like, I don't, I don't know. I think... Do we want to go for the dark or actually, you know what? Let's go for the all for one. Let's see what we get. So we got Ori, Astrolab, or Sozu. I, I might just take the Sozu to get the energy. But there's something to be said maybe about Astrolab and Ori. Because we have Art of War. So if we're playing only skills, we're going to be getting four energy anyways, right? And if Astrolab gives us something interesting in terms of powers then we have mummified hands so we're gonna be getting kind of energy with mummified hands and the art of war there's ways for us to circumvent sort of uh, this three energy problem 
And I think removing some of these strikes and maybe getting some upgraded cards could be really good with Momofet hands. It could be some really good powers. So I'm going to go for it. Like, I, okay, I would say Sozi is probably better, right? Because now we have Alpha 1 and Hyper Beam, which means we can play both Alpha 1 and Hyper Beam on the same turn, and that's a pretty big deal. But if Astrolab is like a really crazy power in the best case scenario, then Momofet hand coming to life, and then if it's Echo Form or something, it'd be great. Oh, I didn't mean to pick it. Fuck, I was still talking about it. It's too late. Oh, shit. So we got Fission Consume. We got a combo. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? No. I was just talking about it. I was about to say... I was about to say that I think Soju is just better because there's so much variance with Astrolab that hoping for power is just too much variance. You'd rather just get the energy. And I clicked it. Whatever. I clicked it. So we got Consume Fission, which is kind of weird. This deck is all different places. We have Hyper Beam, which is bad for focus. Then we have a Focus Generation the combo. And then we have All for One, which is zero. So this deck is all over the place. Ugh, man. I, just, I wanted to click Sozu. It's okay. It's okay. We got this. Let's go for the Shop. And we have a Force Elite no matter what. So let's go this way. And we can avoid the rest of Elites and go for four rest. Seems ideal. All for one and undo. Yeah. It's a dream. So Fission can get the drugs evoked, but yeah, let's just do this. <laughs> I was I, I literally was about to say Astro Live is too much variance, so it's not worth it, but it's okay. I kinda like rebound all for one here. So we still have like claw thing going for us, which is really nice. I like that. I also like turbo conserve battery, so I save one energy next turn, which allows the all for one thing to be lethal. It's lethal anyways, but Oh we have self-repair too, so we're like we're in good shape. GG. So this deck has some good tempo going. Random attack skill cards. So I have a question with attack potions and skill potions. Does that mean does this mean that um it's gonna be zero for that turn, or is it gonna be zero always and then that can work with all for one? That works for all for one. That's pretty cra that's pretty crazy. Another claw or a hologram. So hologram can bring hyper beam back, but the claw with all for one. Could be, so we have so many different archetypes going on. This is crazy. Is the Dex ready potion better than the weekend? Probably not. We got molten egg, hologram again, flash of steel, which works with all for one, and we got capacitor. So because this slot is usually safe for powers. Because this last usually favorite powers, and capacitor is one of the only common powers. Often the power slot is consumed by capacitor because it's common, which is unfortunate because you'd rather probably get a better power, but it, the common is always going to persevere. Uh, Petrograph for healing, molten egg for attacks, or blue candle. Uh, I like sacred weapon as well because that could be interesting with um, for hyper beam or all from one if you need it. I would say hologram flash of steel kind of works kind of well. Maybe remove. Uh, maybe we can remove. <laughs> we could actually, you know what? We could probably remove fission and consume. Like I think if we're gonna have this deck, if we're gonna have the hyper beam plus all for one things and then fission consume, we probably gotta make our decision now and say, you know what? I'd rather remove consume or fission. Because honestly, at this point, Consume is his own archetype with Frost and all this other stuff that you probably just want to remove this over a strike. Ah. Remove Zap. At least Zap can be zero cost when you upgrade it, which I may not upgrade it. And Consume, I guess, could help. But honestly, I would rather remove these two. Uh -oh. oh, you gotta go? Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't uh, see that for a second. Take care, man. Have fun at the dinner. Easy egg? You think it's an easy egg? You think an egg at 19 floor is worth it? So, I don't know if we'd rather be... Do we really want to be multicast and defensive free win, Desert Zyra? Yeah, all for one could be insane, guys. That's true. What's up, Gates of Steel? Okay, so... An egg. So, I don't know if we really want to be adding that many powers in our deck. At this point, we'd probably be adding, adding skills. Because we have four defense... Conserve battery, a, le a leap. 
I think we'd rather be adding... We have two leaps. We'd rather be adding skills at this point. Okay, I want to do flashy still hologram and remove consume, I would say. I mean, who's the boss? Because we can always fall back on fission, fission consume like for frost. Like we could always have that possibility. But I don't think we're going to be doing it, to be honest. I mean, the fact that this is uh, these are both upgraded makes me a little bit weary to remove them. Like I probably would rather remove a strike. I'll remove a strike for now. We'll keep the consume fission. I like the fact that we got uh, dual cast all for one, right? So what we could do is all for one, and dual cast is gonna kill this guy right here, which is perfect. Oh, I actually fucked that up. I fucked that up. Uh, let's do that. And now dual cast kills him. But now we can't knock that guy down. I guess it's okay, because we have Fent. You're feeling this deck? I don't know. I'm not really feeling this deck, to be honest. I'm not feeling it. This deck is all over the place. I've had much better decks, but it's okay. We'll make it work. So I gotta upgrade Hologram so I can bring all for one back. Let's get lucky here. Oh, that sucks. I guess we can do Consume now. Since there's nothing better to do, at least I can make it so that... We got a hyper beam. Is that lethal? Yes, it is. We didn't get self repair out, which sucks. We got another claw. I guess we can go for the claw deck. <laughs> okay, I'll try it. I'll try it. It's not often I get three claws. What just happened? I just. What was that? What was that? It just removed the strike now and got, took away my removal. What was that? Didn't I remove the strike earlier or was it still in the deck? So you're telling me I didn't remove on this shop, but then when I came here, it registered the remove and removed it now and took the gold? I'm so confused. Beta. Yeah, it's beta stuff. Just beta things. So, Meteor Strike would have been interesting, but we, we couldn't have played it. Skim for card draw. I do like having powers because we have mummified hand, but I don't think capacitor is the power we want. Oh, what is this? Gain four mass HP? Wait, is this a permanent heal? How do we see the rarity of this? How do you see the rarity? That's that's crazy. I'll take the max HP. Right, let's skip. Okay, so we got Hyper Beam Hologram. Or we had Rebound Hyper Beam. They're both the same, right? So we have Lethal next turn. Beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, I love going against the Cultists and having Rebound Hyper Beam first turn. There's nothing better than that. I mean, I want to get self-repair up, but... So Hologram again, or Stack. So Stack helps us get a little bit more defense. And Hologram, if I upgrade it, would allow me to do more all-for-one shenanigans, more claw shenanigans. Maybe even more hyper beam shenanigans. But, you know, I do stack because stack doesn't really require an upgrade. And now we can upgrade the Hologram. Okay, I think we got this elite. So, hyper beam would be the nuts here. We got it. We did it. Let's see, actually... Random skill. Let's see what we can draw into. Okay, let's do random attack. Oh, we got Doom and Gloom. Oh, shit. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's nuts. So I could weaken. Nah, it's fine. It's only 8 damage. Ooh, that's crazy. I think we got lethal here. Alright, let's see. 
I can holler and bring Hyperman back, right? But I'd rather get self repair out. See, this is the problem. I want to get self repair out, but I also have lethal this turn. Let's kill this guy. I'm gonna block. We're gonna try to get self repair, and I'm putting him low enough that. I'm still gonna wait. There it is. GG. Beautiful. Okay. Frozen Egg. So now we got Moffat and Frozen Egg. That's the dream. We just gotta find powers. There's a power. I think we do it, guys. I mean, we have Moffat Hands. We have it upgraded. And... We have Hyper Beam and all the other things we can Echo Form, but you gotta also say there's another Claw. Maybe we just go full Claw. I mean, when you get offered Echo Form after you get... I mean, you guys, I know you guys want Claw. I know you guys want Claw. I mean, we already have three of them. We probably want four of them. But but Echo Form upgraded Mobile Fight Hand, though. And think about it. Echo Form could be multiple Claws. So, I mean, we're, it's, it's the same thing. So now I'm actually liking the deck. Okay, so this deck is weird because I gotta remove fish and consume. I think it's official. We're moving. We're moving fish and consume. I think maybe we upgrade self repair to get better healing. I feel like the sustain would be nice. It's not good for the boss fight, but it, it helps me be healthy for the boss fight to get more upgrades. Lantern, not bad. Get jaxed? Ah, uh, not really, dude. Sorry. So let's go ahead and conserve battery to me is pretty good. It's 11 block, leap, 12 block, things like this. I think what we want to do is maximize our blocks. Like stack is probably a decent upgrade. Claws actually, because claws scaling. And if you upgrade the claws, they each get up by three. That's pretty good. But I'd rather just be living with like leaps and conserve battery. Yeah, I got a mummified hand. That makes it a little bit better, right? So I, I can kind of balance out the energy. And then... Because of that, because Echo Form is so strong already, it's it's more than paying for itself the next turn. Especially if you get more powers, because Mama Fat Hands gonna be doing even more things twice. Want to upgrade the claws? Okay, we'll upgrade the claws. I just feel like Leap is definitely Leap because their battery is probably better upgrades. But you know what? Chat gets what chat wants. And now we got conserve battery. That's a, I think that card's a little underrated. Echo form. So self repair is probably hitting echo form. Nope. Wait, what? Did it hit anything? Oh, all for one. So the alpha was actually crazier because we have these claws already and we have hologram. So this is crazy. Wait, this is crazy. Oh no, hologram's not free. I I'll weak putt. Yeah, I'll weak putt. Ah, these are some good turns. So double consume. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's get that, that dark going. Let's just do leap. Let's rebound the defense. You think the new 5 max HP might be OP though? I don't know about the drop rate, but during that I got three of them. Well, the daily is, I think, is supposed to kind of get you... Acquainted with the new potions. I think it's a rare. I think Fruit Juice is rare because they added rarity to the potions. So I, I'm pretty sure Fruit Juice is rare. This is lethal. GG. I mean, at least Consume is interesting because we can. Um... Sorry, not <laughs> Fruit Juice. I said the, dark, the Consume is interesting because we can kind of get Darkness scaled up a little bit and use that as a big blast on the champ, as well as the Claw and Hyper Beam things we're doing. So heat sinks doesn't seem to make a lot of sense because we don't have that many powers. Uh, skim could be okay, but again, we're kind of low on energy for the most part. I mean, skim could be nice because it helps us draw, draw into the claws, and because we have three claws and flash of steel, I would say skim's okay. The only thing is, I wouldn't want to get skim and draw into echo form and not be able to play it, but it is upgraded. Leap gives us more defense, so we have four defense, two leaps, conserve battery. A stack, two stacks, and a hologram. Maybe we take another leap, or maybe we just do skim. So heat sinks would be free. Yeah, it is free. Well, not really. It's 
there's nothing's truly free, so it's taking up that turn that I play it. It's taking up the card slot that I play it. It will be free after the hand, which is not bad. But what... So after I play it, then, then I guess it makes my echo form better. I don't have that many powers. I only have two powers after that, so it's not that worth it. You could argue, okay, I might get more powers later on because I have modified hand and frozen egg. I'm going to be, I'm going to be inclined to take powers. But uh, I think we either do skim or leap. I think we do skim. I'm going for another leap. Ah, uh, we got hyper beam. Which I actually don't know if it's actually worth to play there because... I mean, I guess it's fine. Echo form. Yikes. If we can find... Okay, so if we can find some block... So I would say... self repair is making me get something free. So if it hits, like, the leap and defend, we're fine. If it hits anything else, I'm not liking it. But I want to play it anyways. Nice. So we, we get... Take 7 damage. So now that we have Echo Form out, we should be doing some good stuff. So double... Well, stack is covering already, so I think double... Claw is better. So we, stack and leap is covering. So what we can do is uh, bring back something that's free. Whether it be... You know, we could bring back all for one. I don't know if that's lethal or not. It's definitely not lethal. We can bring back claw though. So more claws, right? That's going to be doing 21 times 2, 42. We could do stack twice, but stack's already covering for the most part. Well, we could do stack twice and not take any damage. But here's the thing, he's doing 28, right? So the second hit is going to be doing only one damage, which is fine. Because that's 23, right? And if I throw a consume stack, we're not taking anything. Let's do undo, just to get it out of the cycle. We could do Fission just to get rid of the Dark Orb. Get some damage in there. And now the stack is... I'm only taking one damage because of the Tori. Ah, this is a really good fight for us. Double Claw again, and we have all for one. GG. Beautiful. Smooth Stone for more defense. Love it. Liquid Bronze. Gain two Thorns. That's crazy. White Noise Hologram Axing. So White Noise becomes a little bit better because... We have Mummified Hands, and this could be the buffer or another Echo Form, Creative AI, it could be anything. So I'm going to take White Noise. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay, so there's a few things we can do here. We can do Echo Form, or we can try to do the full defense. I think Echo Form is worth it. So I think we're taking, take like, 9 damage. Yeah, that's fine. Double self repair, so that won't. So double self repair is not bad because we get. <laughs> Shit, this is funny. I get ten healing off of twenty healing off of this, right? It also makes other things free, so it makes the skim and hologram free or rebounds. Or we can do hologram twice, get eight block, and bring back the all for one. And conserve battery, and then we do all the claws, and they do all for one again. I think that's better. So let's do this. Let's do. Actually, we don't need conserve battery. We could just do all the claws. Okay, let's do holding them twice. That's better. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do all the claws. I'm going to do turbo too because I can do rebound all for one. So the next time we have lethal, potentially. We're going to do self repair. Conserve battery. So we can turbo skim and probably draw all for one again. And let's see what else we can do with this. If we have lethal this turn, that's crazy. No, we don't get lethal. But we can full defend with turbo stack. So that was a much better turn than what I was going to do. We have bias cognition. Ah, okay. So let me, um, let me go ahead and do something real quick because my thing didn't alert. Thank you. Wait a second. My thing's not alerting, guys. That's not good. Thank you to Gundrava with the Twitch Prime. I appreciate it a lot, dude. Thank you to Password is Pass... 
for the follow. Icy Knight, Ouch. thank you for the Twitch Prime. Guys, we're very close to 100 subs, so I think, you know what? I think we're gonna pull a 24 hour. Actually, is that like a good sub goal thing to do, 24 hour? Because can you really watch 24 hours of uh, Slay the Spire? But I'm gonna upgrade the sub goal. Thank you guys so much for the Twitch Primes. Appreciate it a lot. Vision is lethal? Yeah, it is. I see it. Vision is lethal, and we already have the, the healing out, right? So we can do this just to get more damage, and then it's lethal. Um, thank you guys. Appreciate it a lot. Essence of Steel. We gained three plated armor. That's insane. Is that, that has to be rare. So the fact that I didn't take Sozu is kind of nice because we get to see all these po potions. I can just get a day off tomorrow. <laughs> hey, good afternoon, Isn't How you doing, man? Welcome. And hello, Vexel. Good to see you. Three plated armor and a potion. It's crazy, guys. We got FTL chill or beam cell. So FTL can cycle itself. And it works all for one. I didn't <laughs> The thing about that though is like um I don't know. I don't want to do too many random attacks on the, the the champ. Okay, FTL is good. Let's upgrade white noise so that is free. The claws, right? The claws. Yeah, we saw what claws can do. I can play other games. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I want to add some Fortnite to it. Maybe we can do some, like, uh, For the King. Maybe we can do some some Civilization, some Frostpunk. We can do a lot of different games, guys. I mean, we can do a lot of different stuff. So, I'm going to do the plated armor just to try it out. I just want to, like, you know what? Also, I don't want to be stuck with all these potions. What I, so, they changed all the potions, Serazi. Our goal right now is to find Echo Form, but Skim is going to be bad. So, what we're going to do is, um... We're gonna hologram the leap. And we're gonna do. We're gonna lose this. Damn. So if I do self repair, I can hit skim or stack. But if it. Fine. So we're gonna take. We're gonna lose one of our plated armors. That's fine. And guys, don't mind me. I'm drinking out of the carton. Don't judge me, alright? Don't judge me. There's the echo form. So that's something we just gotta use. We just gotta use it. Take that, take that moment. We got the claws going. And they're flowing. Okay, this is beautiful. So, we just wanna be careful not to split. So at 220 is when he's gonna get his, um... Okay, we got all for one. That brings all the claws right back. Just gotta be a little careful. Whoa, I forgot it was double. That should've done white noise. I just screwed up. It's Thanks. all good. Hey, Anonymous with $10 saying thanks. Very short and concise, just saying thanks. I, um, it can mean a lot of things. Kind of mysterious, but I'm very grateful. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, dude. And thank you for $10. So that's a pretty good turn. I actually want to save white noise to get the double white noise. I, I, I ruined that opportunity. I don't think it's going to matter. Whoa! Echo form. So it could have been what? What was it going to be? Oh, uh, we got two echo forms out. I think it's GG, guys. Wow, we got... Okay. So we can do... So we can do rebound twice and then hyper beam twice. So that's doing a lot of damage, right? That's doing 18 plus 72. The problem with that is we have our all for one here. We can do zap twice, which gives the 30 damage. I mean, we don't want to push them too early. But because the claws are kind of scaled up, like 17 each, and we have two echo forms, I can do claw, 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 claw. I'm probably going to be pushing for damage pretty soon. But maybe I want to wait for all for one. Like big all for one combo with the claws and push that damage as opposed to doing... So let's just do the math real quick. 18, 36, right? 72. If I rebound the Hyper Beam, next turn we have another... Another 72 or 50, 48 damage, right? So in total, we're looking at 72 plus 48 or 72 twice, which is 144 damage. And the rebound twice is 18. We're looking at 152 damage. So he's gonna be about half-life. Then he's gonna have a free turn next turn where he's about to change his form. So then maybe we draw into, let's hopefully like some beam cell claw shenanigans. Maybe hologram. I don't know. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna go ahead and 
I'm gonna rebound all for one. So I bring him a little bit closer, right? We're taking the damage. But if we get some good stuff next turn. Okay, that's not what I was really hoping for. So all for one twice is doing 26, which does. Um, Thirty-two, right? Two thirty-two, which doesn't push him yet. It gets him close, and what we can do is bring back undo. I think, which I think, which I think is worth it, right? So we, we get the life back, and if we do four damage now, he has six turns of vulnerable, and he's not quite like he has two twenty-eight, right? Plus the lightning, he's at two twenty-five. He's right at the precipice, right at the uh, right at the edge. So now we want to do the most that we've ever done. Again, not that ideal. But it's the claws, so we can go for the claws, get 25, 25, and then this would be what? I don't know. It's going to be a decent amount. And then maybe we get the hologram all for one and we do some good stuff there. So this might be a good time to go for it. So we can do stack. So, yeah, I think that's a good time to go for it. So he gets five turns of vulnerable, right? So what we want to get is hologram for all for one. Or more claws, that's fine. I mean, claws, I guess, is just lethal. I mean, okay. Or we just win like that. Okay, bring like a claw. Okay, I guess it's GG. Shit, claw's insane. I'm overthinking it. Just, just do claw. Hey, what's up, Calibo? Calibo, you asked this. Welcome, man. How you doing? Good to see you. How you doing, Bruja? Uh, yeah, I think Seek is good. I think Seek is really good. So Seek allows me to look for the Echo Form and get it out there and to play. Seek allows me to do uh, all for one and rebound. So let's say I do all for one rebounds. I uh, can get a really big turn. I could also do Hyper Beam if I need it. It's situational, right? I mean, there's... If I have Echo Form on top of the Seek, we're just we're doing whatever we want. And then you can also look at Plasma, I mean Fusion. So right now, we don't have an Energy Relic. And Fusion, if we upgrade it, it's going to be for Energy. Not to say that we're not going to get an Energy Relic after this. And that allows us, so it's not affected by Hyper Beam, and then that allows us to play more cards. But our deck is very cheap, with zero cost cards, so the Energy is not as important. So we'll, we'll go for the, the Seek. Hey, how's it going, Cheese Nibbles? And what's up, Sasongas? Welcome, man. Seek is good in any deck, yeah, for sure. Seek is like having Bottled Tornado, Bottled Flame, and Bottled Lightning in a card. You play some, 20, some games as you want? Yeah, actually, that could be interesting. So we get the Seek, and let's see what we get. We got an Energy Relic, but the Energy Relic is... Philosopher's Stone, which could be bad. I mean, at this point, we already passed the birds. So we're probably going to be getting the Darklings, which is pretty bad. And then we're also going to be getting... Um, certain things, like... There's, there's there's some other stuff that can be nasty. I'm trying to think. I mean, I guess the Thornies, the Orb Walkers, the Spheric Guardian that you might get. The Fire Events, like the guy who has the adds and does double attacks. So, Philosopher's Stone is not... I can probably mitigate it. Because we have Echo Form, we have Seek, we have a strong deck. We can probably mitigate the... The damage aspect of it because of Tori. And what we can do is play more cards per turn... It might be worth it to get the Energy Relic, honestly. I think because we can play more cards per turn and do more things, we can probably offset the, the downside. And Tori kind of helps a little bit, right? So White Beast does seem OP. You know what? You know what? With the new potions, White Beast does seem good. You're right. You're right. Let's go for the potions. Because of the new patch. I like it. I like it. Alright, so we got a lot of gold. We, we want to see the shop. We can go for the elite or we can avoid it and maybe just do one elite and then three rests. Or we can do no elites at all, right? So if we're feeling like a pansy, we do no elites at all and get a, a later shop. Or we can change our mind and get an elite all the way at the end. Or we can do another... I'll, I'll go this path because I'd rather get the early shop. I mean, I'll say this is probably a situation where...
I don't think the energy relic would have helped me there. Echo form. Energy relic would have helped me in this situation, right? So you can say echo form is not bad, but then we also have things like hologram for the all for one, and we could do claw, claw, FTL, and then do the all for one, and maybe we're getting lethal. Let's do FTL first, see what we draw into. Yikes. Yeah, maybe just hologram all for one is better. So, I don't know if it's lethal, but... So, Echo Form is obviously... Mm. Since we have White Piece Statue, you'll probably want to play the, the Poison Pot, right? This could be interesting, because if this is... if This this could be really good, actually. So, if I do White Noise, and I get something good, like Buffer or whatever, it's going to make one card free. So, if it makes an Echo Form, by chance, we're in the clear. If it hits Consume, we're, we're feeling like Rear. So let's do all for one, and I'm gonna do. See, this is rough because our white noise could. It's a high variance play. It could be potentially really good. It could hit the all for one. It could hit the echo form. It could be really good. And it's probably best to do it now because we have two claws and a burn, which can't be affected. So it has one, two, three, four targets. Echo form, all for one are both good targets. Consume is bad. Defend would. Still not as bad. So the only bad target I would say is consume. So if it hits consume, we're we're hating our lives. Defend out of mind. Do we even have lethal? Let's check it out though. We have uh, it's gonna be three plus six, then twelve, right? Eighteen, and then we bring this back. This is doing eight, and then this is gonna be doing. 11, 19, 19 plus 18 is 39, plus the 5, I think we have exact lethal, we have exact lethal, oh we dual class as well, we have lethal for sure, oh easy, easy, okay, gambler's brew, discard any number of cards and then draw that many, so this is a mulligan, in a potion, this white piece statue is probably insane. We got buffer, so buffer is gonna be upgraded, right? It also works with mummified hands, and it allows me to get echo form out relatively safe. That's amazing. All right, so we just play at uh, echo form, and we have leap. All right, we're we win this. I'm gonna do poison pot, just because we have these potions, we want to play them, right? As a platypus, you approve this claw build. So this is beam cell twice, self repair twice, lightning twice. Do dog, how you doing, man? Welcome. So hyper beam is doing hyper beam twice is is doing some deeps. It's doing some big deeps. It's killing both the ads and it's doing a big chunk of damage to this guy. Uh, only problem is we're taking eleven times two, right? So ideally, we probably want a hologram all for one and a stack. If we bring back all for one. It's not very good because, well, here's the thing. Fission, the lightning can hit this guy, and then the dark orbs can hit the guy in the back, and then, I don't want to play Fission twice. What if we do Gambler's Brew? So let's Gambler's Brew the skim. No. I have undo next hand for sure. <laughs> you swear I have undo. That's hilarious, man. And what if I don't have undo? I guess I'm going to Fine. You know what? Laga convinced me. Laga convinced me. He said I have undo for sure. And now, I, now I'm convinced. Thanks, Memes. Thank you very much for the great entertainment. Oh, thank you again for the $15, Anonymous. Appreciate it a lot, man. Well, you're welcome. Thank you for the, thank you for the support.
So we can skim to try to maximize our chances to find undo, but then if we find undo and we can't play it, it's gonna feel bad. So let's just do hologram. Get him vulnerable. And I'm gonna trust you. You said I'm gonna find undo. We'll see. So we have card draw, so you're, you're not entirely wrong just yet. You're not entirely wrong just yet. Uh, so we can discard. One, two, two, three, four, five, six. It was at the bottom of my deck. Thank God I had the potion. Hey, you watched Ash for me? Thank you, Paper Platypus. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. So we got the heal. And let's go for the kill. Let's actually see what we get here. Self-repair. Thank God I played that first. And now we got the lethal. GG, guys. GG. This deck's awesome. First try, undo. Hologram plus, leap plus, rebounds. Uh, so leap plus, good defense. But hologram plus, it's pretty nice. I like it. It's versatile. I'm not sure what we were using it for. We can use it for undo or claw stuff or hyper beam. It seems more versatile than leap. All right, we got a lot of gold. Let's see what we get. We got another FTL. Streamline for the all-for-one shenanigans, which could be good. Secret technique. So basically what I could do is use this to find seek. And then seek can find everything else. This seems pretty good. And if you upgrade it, you can keep doing some stuff you might need, right? So if you want to get like... I don't know, this could be interesting. You can also bring undo if you need undo. Like, this could be a good card. Yeah, you actually want to use attack. Yeah, I had the same thing, Kali, but the first time I was in Strength Fight and it was actually like a dexterity thing. The best silent card? Well, if Hologram is a silent card, then I need to play silent again. But I hear you, man. It is a really good defect card. It's so versatile, it brings everything together. Uh, reinforced body for more block. You can say that as seek as well. Yeah, so seek. So basically this could be it helps you find the seek, and then the seek is what's nice. But this also also has some versatility where you can do things like leap if you need it, turbo if you want more energy, undo if you need it, stack if you need it. I mean, I don't know, it has versatility. It can do bring it to hologram and hologram can bring you it all for one. I think this is not a bad card. The left green one makes it so that you the shops appear 50% more often, and then you get 20% uh, discount. The question is, is it worth the money, right? So let's do another shop first off. There's not another shop, and we could remove. What would we rather remove? I think now we're, we're come to the realization that consume and fission need to go. At least fission can proc the dark orb and do some damage. Consume has not really seen any play. Because it's kind of expensive. Clathail. 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 Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. So we might remove the consume. Um, if we remove the consume, we can still get the secret technique. And you can say, do we need the reinforced body for more block? Or would you like to streamline for more damage? I think we're good on block. Especially with echo form in the play. So I'm going to remove the consume. I'm gonna buy Super Technique. I'm happy with that. We wanna save some good potions for the boss, right? Because we have White Beast actually, we wanna try to save the best potions. I don't know what the best potions are, but whatever they are, we wanna save them. I kinda wanna do Fission just now. I don't wanna waste any time on this aggressive guy. Ah. Uh. Grinding the views, yeah. What's up, Deli Blanchard? How you doing? So now we got the all for one shenanigans. So we can do secret technique first, right? So we can find like a. Uh... We can do white noise. Or hologram. I can do hologram twice for the claws and then do all for one. Let's do white noise. Hey, that's gross. A free hologram, though. That's crazy. Only problem with this is that we can't kill the thornies. Kind of sucks. 
sucks a lot, actually. So what we need here is like... Uh, what do we need here? Heavy Rain would have been... Nah. So what we need is like... Dark damage or something? Zap. Lightning stuff. WN Berger. Hope you enjoyed the video, man. It was a good one. And, um... Six ounce. How you doing, man? So, double self-repair. Or double seek. So, double seek is not really useful here. Double leap could help us to start doing some damage. So, double stack can help us to do some damage, too. They all help. So, let's do seek on the all for one. Right? Because now we can do... Now we have enough block to like do some all for one stuff. Or maybe actually... Hyper Beam. Now let's do this. Actually, on second thought, I just basically undo. Damn it, man. We're healing 20, right? So we could take... We could take, like... A little bit of damage. Alright, this is... Can we do one attack? Nope. We could. This is annoying. A dual cast would have been lethal, my bad. Alright, GG. Okay, it wasn't too bad, whatever. Thornies are kind of a pain in the ass. Game 1 focus. Heat sink, steam power, axe kick. Uh, so heat sinks is going to be upgraded. But I still think that we're not having enough powers to make it worth it. I'm going to skip. Oh, you know what? I could have given up. So we're going to get rid of Fission now. So like I said, Fission, at least Fission is giving us... Evoking the Darkness. But you know what? I'd rather get the max HP. And what, what is the alternative? I can get rid of a Defend or the Zap. We're not using the Zap nearly at all. At least Fission is something that can um, proc the Dark Orbs. But you know what? Let's get the max HP. So we got rid of consumer fission just like we wanted and without a hitch too. We can go ahead and upgrade the claws. I feel like the claws are doing a lot of scaling for us. More than I even realize. And now they're going to be scaling like crazy. So we can go for the elite now, now that we're full life. Or we can try to wait a little bit. If we go this elite now, then we're forced to do another elite. Actually, no, we're not. We could do... We could skip... Yeah, let's do it. Got it. Okay, that was kind of a lackluster turn. We have Focus and we have Thorns and Poison. We might have to use one of these. So... Huh. <laughs> we can hologram the leap so we don't take damage. Let's do Poison Pot. What's up, Sha? How you doing? Yeah, these are all different. These are focus and strength bites. There's a lot of different potions. We got buffered once. Ideally, skill. So here, there's something we could do, right? We could do secret technique on Seek, right? And then Seek can give us Echo Form. And let's say we use Echo Form. And Echo Form will hit. Wait, guys. I can make it so that Echo Form... Wait, I want you guys to see this. Let's do Seek, right? Let's do Echo Form and both Claws, right? So then when we do White Noise, that's free buffer, right? So when I use Buffer, though, it's guaranteed to hit either the Echo Form or the Buffer, right? 
So then when I use buffer, it's guaranteed to hit the echo form. Now it's a little unfortunate because we don't get to play the buffer with the echo form, but we got all the powers out. And uh, let's go ahead and get the claw going a little bit. We can even conserve the battery. Let's do dual cast. And that's a pretty decent turn. All right. Um, so we can do stack twice, or stack once covers it, so I I'd rather do claw twice, right? Because because beam cell, well beam cell makes it so that he gets four vulnerable, and claw twice gives me more scaling. But next turn we're playing to attack anyways, ideally. So let's do claw twice, beam cell. In fact, we could even do skim, do claw again, maybe do a rebound. I actually know what we could do is hologram the all for one. Let's do claw first. Hologram the all for one. Because we're going to get back turbo, and then we can do stack. We also have buffer, if anything, but... Actually, I wasn't able to get everything. So we're just stacking the claw up. Although claw is not really doing that much right now. Oh, now a stack it doesn't work. Oh, my bad. I, I could have seen that coming. Whoops. <laughs> That's okay. We have... We have buffer. It's fine. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I carried away there. Alright, double claw. Dude, claw is insane. So we didn't need to get the healing, right? We could have got self prepared, but we don't even need it because we're not taking any damage. And yeah, that was a free elite. Singing bowl. Ghost in a jar. Gain one intangible. There's a, now a potion that gives you intangible. So I'm going to keep this for the boss. So having one turn of intangible for the boss, that's a free turn. Having buffer, another free turn. I mean, a lot of these potions are insane. Reprogram impulse or capacitor. I'm going to go ahead and skip. Although reprogram works really well, actually, with hologram. That was a mistake. Some of these potions are insane. Misplayed so perfectly. The only thing I really misplayed was the um. So I like this rebound all for one. So next turn we're probably gonna get lethal. I like, rebound all for one's insane. Cause claws to scale up in insane amount. What we could do is seek as well, get more claws, <laughs> and now it's guaranteed lethal. I mean, I'd probably have lethal without all for one, but what, what, we'll just do it. Oh, I forgot to use potions because we have the white beast statue. Luckily, we got a dexterity pie, which is kind of tame. Maybe dexterity pie is better than focus because, yeah, yeah, we'll take the dexterity pie. Go for the eyes is a weak, and I think this, oh, source of weakness is really good against the against the Dono and Deca, right? And because all for one, we're probably gonna get this more than, more than once. Static Discharge will be upgraded, so we have Tori, so there's a chance we can get Static Discharge played. But I, th I think I'd like go for the eyes, get the weaken on the Donut Deca. And I don't, I don't want to play too many, I don't want to get too many random, oh, Bag of Marbles is not bad. I don't want to get too many random... Okay, let's do Secret Technique and get Seek, right? So now we have... Either the Claws and All for One, or Hyper Beam, and just to kill these guys. I kind of like Hyper Beam. Ideally, I would like to get Echo Form played, so there might be a way we can get that played for free. So if we do White Noise, Echo Form, we can do Self Repair, White Noise. Nah, there's no way. Let's do Hyper Beam, just kill these, these ads. And let's get the claw going. Actually, let's do buffer so that buffer's fine because what we can do is set this up. Oh, maybe rebound was better. <laughs> we can set that up and get it so that um, when I do get echo form, I can play it for free. Like this. Only problem is that guy's doing damage. Um, there's a way that we can kill that guy, right? Perfect. Okay. So got the echo form out. 
And let's try to do some, some lethal lethal. I think we'd rather draw because we can get all for one. Or we can haul the gram and bring back hyper beam. Rebound. Let's draw. Nope. Creative AI is not bad because we have mummified hands. I love how buffer counts is taking damage. It's weird, huh? So this is going to be doing 12 and then... I think it does 12 twice, but it scales up twice. So it's going to be scaling by 6. So this does... Let's just do this. So next turn is lethal. Getting teat. GG. I mean, this deck is great. This deck is really good. Entry, uh, en Entropic Brew. Fill all empty push slots with random potions. Well, if I knew I had that... Dude, we need more potion slots now. I mean, we have all these crazy potions. We need to add, like, a potion pouch. I would take a relic that is a potion pouch. Carry three extra potions. Maybe make it like a rare relic. Because these potions are pretty good. Sweeping beam, heat sinks. I'm going to skip. Entropic view. Is it better than dexterity? So if you can think about it, if we do... Entropic view is probably just better than dexterity pot. Because you use the thorns, you use the tangible, and then you just get three random new ones. That's pretty good. Silent next hack, Spreton, maybe, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna go for the elites. This is probably the worst elite for me, which... Alright, it happens. I did it. It's too late. Do we wanna... Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm regretting this. But it's okay. So we, now we won't get the buffer for the echo farm. I didn't need to do elites. We have the echo farm. But, um, so next turn, if we get hologram, we could do undo next turn, right? So we can always have undo for the hologram. Hologram for the undo. So even if we take damage now, it's all good. I mean, it's not ideal. You know what? Here's what we can do. Next turn, we're going to try to get all for one. Well, what, can I kill this guy? Wait, right, wait. Can this hyper beam kill this guy? No, I can't. So let's do this. Next turn, we're going to try to get all for one with hologram. And then all for one is going to bring back the undo anyways. So we're going to heal up. Wait, we could even do turbo stack and not take that much damage. So that kind of mitigates some of my problems, right? So even if I was a little scared, I'm only taking one damage. Which I can undo anyways if I get all for one right now, which I'm going to get right now. Even though we have Echo Form, so we'd probably rather do Rebound. Or Leap. Maybe Leap is better. No, we want to do all for one. Alright, let's do Claw. So he's dead. I think this guy's dead too. He's dead. Okay, so we took one damage. Bottled Lightning. What? So you know, I'm getting all these potions. I keep forgetting about it. So Bottled Lightning is really good on Seek, right? Because that basically means you have Bottled Lightning on Seek. What you're really saying is you have Seek, which is drawing when it upgraded three cards. So it can be any bottle you want. I think that makes the most sense. That's like, that's like the dream. We got another undo, which, oh, you know, now with the all for one and having things like Hologram... Undo is pretty good, because this is like basically like an intangible in a backwards way. We can take damage willingly, but then just heal it back up anyways, with all for one or whatever. Reinforce bodies that a bad source of block. I might just take that as well. I don't know if reinforce bodies is as good as undo, because undo exhausts itself, so you don't have to worry about this, the clogging this cycle. And reinforce body, I mean, it it helps. Let's take reinforce body. Fine. Let's upgrade Seek now that we have it upgraded. Now that we have it bottled, rather. Remove a card. Okay. I think we're not playing Zap at all. So I might just get rid of Zap. I'm sorry, Zap. Do we go for another Elite? 
I mean, giant head could be a problem, right? But not really. We have claws. Okay, let's bring back Echo. Let's do Echo Form and let's do um. Let's get the claw going. I I'm trying to think what's like the best way to maximize this. I think just getting the claws going, right? Get the claws going ASAP. Beautiful. Hey, thank you for the follow, Sally Healer. Sorry guys, I'm real focused. We need to read the chat. Now looking at the card first. What did I miss? Oh, I forgot about the amount of damage I was just taking to the face. Let's do, uh, let's keep, we can either do the weekend. I think we should maximize the weekend. Which, by the way, reminds me, I should probably be upgrading. Go for the ice. Axel, how you doing, man? I just had a deck uh, that did that and won by one shot in the front of us. WM Bezer, which uh, what are you referring to? So doing all for one twice doesn't make a lot of sense. It does more damage. It's doing 36 damage. But maybe we'd rather do... I mean, stack covers this anyways. So I guess we just go for damage, because stack covers this. Have undo. Uh, let's do cast. Stack covers it. All right, so we got buffer twice. I could do claw twice. Hyper beam, nah, there's no point. All right, should be GG. I keep forgetting not to use the potions. You know, I should be using. I'm gonna use it just maybe. I can get something better than thorns. I can always discard the thorns after too, though, right? So we we can block with reinforced body, but I'd rather do powers. Maybe we get. Doesn't matter. Because we have buffer, it really doesn't matter. Um, okay, we'll block. Really no point, though. It's kind of annoying this guy's still in this fight right now. You're just saying that it's good to look at what card you can get before you take the bottle? Ah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. GG. Easy elites. You got whetstone. So, see? You got ghost in the jar. More intangible. That's great. Impulse, streamline, bias, cognition. Uh, so, streamline could be good for more damage. I think maybe I might need more damage, but claws are doing a lot of work, actually. These claws are scaling like crazy. Keeping the deck small with the claws makes more sense. And then we have whetstone, which could upgrade the all for one and flash steel. Perfect. We're going to this, like, absolutely balling and out right now. So, we can make it so that go for the eyes is more weakened, which I think is pretty useful. But if you can also argue, I have all for one, so I'm going to probably begin to go for the eyes multiple times, so it's as if you don't need the upgrade. And then you got Secret Technique, which you can also upgrade. But it not being exhaust means that you can probably get Hologram and do more all for one shenanigans, because you have Hologram more often. So basically, think of Secret Technique as another Hologram. It's also another... It's another way to get undo if you need it. It's also another skim sometimes, or it could even be reinforced body when you need it. But even with that being said, I think I've wanted to cycle itself out and just kind of... Can we go for the weekend? I'm not sure if that was the best play, but we have the intangible plots. We got some good stuff going on. And we got Seek, right? So we want to get the Echo Form out. And we want to get the Claws going. And what we want to do is we want to make this so that Echo Form is potentially free. And I think we can do that with Buffer, Self Repair. If we play Leap, Buffer hits the Echo Form, Self Repair is free. Um, we're taking... So th if there's a way that we can... So what's going to happen here is that... He's gonna proc my my one of my buffers, unfortunately. For two damage. Basically the buffer's gonna be. That's eh. 
I could do intangible and be like, you know what? I want to save my buffer. But it's okay. Whatever. We have one buffer. We have, now we have double hologram. We have double conserved battery. We have double stack. Double leap. I think this is a situation where we kind of just defend, right? Double leap means if I do stack, I have full defense, right? Oh, no, I don't. You know what, I can actually, since stack is going to cover anyways, I can go ahead and maybe start scaling a little bit more with this claw. Get a head start on that, and then... Yeah, do stack. You know what, we could even do... Nah. Hologram's not good enough. Okay, we'll do stack. Cool. I think we're good. Does damage... I don't think so, SR as I hope not. I really hope not. So we can go for... Go for the edge twice. Hyper Beam twice, which is doing 64 AoE. And gets my gets rid of my focus, but I don't think we're caring about focus. Or we can do white noise twice and try to get some good powers. I think we'd rather get some good powers. E. This might be a turn where I do intangible, right? I actually like doing like rebound hyper beam. It's doing sixty two and then sixty two, thirty two and thirty two again next turn. And I don't care. If we, I don't think we care about focus. Unfortunately, this is gonna actually He's gonna lose my buffer Because, oh my god Because I don't have any block at all I kind of want to do Ocean of Jar again And maybe look for a block pot Because this sucks that he's gonna lose my buffer I'm not, I'm not sure if this matters I think we're gonna be fine in this, this run But if I really want to be like super efficient about the buffer, I could do this ghost in the jar, drink the this potion, and maybe we get a block pot. Let's see. Oh, we can. We get. Wait, it's the gift that keeps on giving. The brew keeps going. You know what? I'm gonna keep going. Look for a block pot. So let's do this, and maybe we can discard the undo. Get a defense. No. So let's do the brew pot again. We got max HP. We got dexterity. We got intangible. Okay. Um, so he's gonna get rid of my buffer. That sucks. But I have three turns of intangible. In potions. I mean, that's nasty. Alright. I could have saved the buffer. And now I can't perfect the fight. Fuck me. Whatever. Um, let's draw twice so we can probably get the all for one. Because the all for one right now would be ideal. We got skim, so we want to do claw. We want to do beam cell, claw, skim for the awful one, hopefully. It's the last card in my deck. You gotta be shitting me. Dude, that's the worst place for awful one to be. Because now we can't get any of the claws back. We can't do any of the scaling we want to do. The last card in my deck. That's fantastic. That's amazing. I love it. Cool. How could I have gotten it? Oh, guarantee with secret technique. I, I, I do secret technique with skim. So then when I draw with the FTL, it doesn't draw into the non all for one cards. Yeah, I can see that. So Claw kills that guy, thankfully. And now we just gotta do Alderman all for one and we should be good. I rebounded the vulnerability, yeah, because I did beam cell first. I thought it was going to be more worth anyways, because we got the hyper beam beam cell. It probably would have been more damage the other way. So we want to do claw twice, and then we want to do secret technique for a hologram. Actually, we want to do beam cell twice, so we can get the vulnerable. And now we want to do hologram for all for one, because we have intangible, right? Yeah, we're fine. So let's bring back the all for one. I mean, there's a chance we have lethal. I don't know if we do. And let's just do the intangible. And we're good. We have another hologram coming up. So that should be lethal there. Let's just do this. GG. Claw's insane. 
Oh my god. 1467. That's probably one of my higher scores. The only problem is I didn't get perfect, right? On the last boss. Or any boss, yeah, to, to, to be honest. But that was a good game, guys. Claws nutty. All for ones. We already know all for ones a solid deck, right? Like, it's a solid archetype. The potions are crazy, too. I mean, intangibles, that's insane.